Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here with the next CWO Premiere Recap. Week 3 has just finished up a few days ago, and today we are recapping it, taking a look at the best attacks, and talking about the statistics, who won, who lost, who's looking good, who's not looking so good. Here are the 16 matchups that took place in Week 3. Definitely some unexpected victories, some stuff I didn't think would happen. Uh, my predictions were in the last CWL video. I'll talk at the end about how accurate my predictions were because there were some unexpected victories and it was a great, exciting week. And now I'm gonna take a look at some of the results. So here's the first cluster of results. I'm gonna briefly uh, just recap it, then we'll talk more in depth once the attacks come up on the screen. Quantum 3 getting the victory over Quixotic Squad in a high scoring, exciting war, 87-86. Crystal Warrior uh, goes to 0-3 with WHF2 getting the 84-82 victory over them. Grumpy Old Men dealt their first loss from Dragon Rejects, 84-80. And Panori Banditos and Emphatic Fury have a good war, but uh, Banditos get the victory 86-83 over Fury. So let's talk a little bit more about that first result and actually about the attack um, in the background, which came from this war. Uh, this is a Town Hall 11 triple. We're actually going to take a look at both Town Hall 11 triples from this war, one on each side. Uh, Quantum 3 getting one and Quixotic Squad getting one. So uh, definitely a notable statistic there. Both sides had a Town Hall 11 uh, three star. But just taking a look at the seasons for each of these clans, the score was 87-86, which is extremely high scoring. 86 is getting all Town Hall uh, 10s and 9s 3-starred and all Town Hall 11s 2-starred. 87 is adding a Town Hall 11 triple to that. So you can infer that uh, Quixotic Squad with their 86 left one Town Hall 10 left up. Uh, only two starred and got one Town Hall 11 three starred, so kind of a flip flop there. But regardless, a very high scoring war. We've seen Quantum 3 put up some amazing numbers each week. Um, I believe 85 the first two weeks, now 87 this week on an upward trajectory, but even 85, that consistent uh, two weeks in a row getting that is very solid. That'll win most wars. And as far as it goes for Quixotic Squad, they actually. Um, weren't that hot at the beginning of the uh, of CWL. They had a, a very close one against Crystal Warrior, 84-84, which is respectable. They kind of slumped a little bit in week two, losing to CZX Knights, 84-81. But this week was a great way to bounce back, even though they didn't get the victory. Um, a very high scoring war, putting up 86 stars is always good. And I think they are especially in good position in the wall breaker division where no clan is 3-0. And I think they are going to uh, to do very well in the in the later games the next week and, and beyond that, um, considering the uh, the war they put up this week. As far as it goes for Quantum Three going three and zero, they look to be one of the top clans this uh, this season, and I think they definitely are in good uh, a good position too. So both uh, Quantum Three and Quixotic Squad are looking very good. The other three I'm not going to talk about quite as much. I wanted to really feature the first war, especially because it had the attacks in the background. But WHF2, 84-82 over Crystal Warrior. Crystal Warrior not doing bad in any of these wars. They're putting up solid stars, but it's never quite enough. They've had a tough schedule, falling to 0-3. I don't think they're you know too far in the hole, considering they've had some pretty good wars, um, scoring at least 82 stars each week. WHF2 had a, a tough matchup against uh, actually Quantum 3 in week 1, and barring that loss, they are uh, with the two wins in the following weeks. They are now 2-1. and one. I think they're looking very good. Crystal Warrior, there still is hope, but the 0-3 definitely does not help in this situation. Dragon Rejects taking out Grumpy Old Man. We thought Grumpy Old Man was going to uh, be a dominating force this year after their first two weeks, but only 80 stars from them this week. Not that solid of a performance. On the flip side, Dragon Rejects um, goes to 2-1 and one with a solid war. They were hot in week one, kind of fell back in week two, but now they're back at it again in week three, getting the victory and going to 2-1. and one. 
And finally, Pinoy Bandidos getting the victory to go 2-1 and one over Emphatic Fury. Emphatic Fury, again, similar to Crystal Warrior, a tough start to this season to go 0-3, but they've had some tough wars, and they're on an upward trajectory in terms of the stars they're scoring. Uh, on the flip side, Bandidos being a very solid clan, going to 2-1 and one and looking to continue that winning record. Okay, so here we go with the next cluster of results. Rogue XI getting the victory over J Off, who was a top dominating force, um, but falling to Rogue XI this week. King Jeffrey 85-82 over Pigeonism, solid victory there. Hindustan very uh, decisive victory over Valor Doheris. And finally, Finland War goes down to the X Knights 85 80. Again, a pretty big margin. So, all these wars are substantial margins in terms of the stars. Let's take a look at a few of the attacks and talk about them a little bit more. So, of course, the big news is going to be J Off losing to Rogue XI. J Off, one of the hottest clans in the first two weeks, putting up some amazing stars. Probably uh, next to Dark Looters X, the most dominating clan. Uh, probably t around tied for the most dominating clan with Dark Looters X through the first two weeks, but losing uh, with only 81 stars, 4 to Rogue XI's 84 stars. So they might be a little bit more hit and miss than we think. We'll see if this was just a one-time thing or if we might see some, uh, some you know, slump, slumped wars uh, through the next few weeks. It'll be interesting to see if they can bounce back from this and get back to uh, the dominating level they were at the first two weeks. Rogue XI being very consistent, going to 2-1 and one here. Uh, they're putting up 83, 84-ish stars throughout these weeks, which is a very solid number, and will win um, at least half the time, I'd say. Next, King Jeffrey versus Pigeonism. Both 1-1 one one clans going into it, but King Jeffrey, 85-82, to 82, the decisive victory over Pigeonism. Both clans kind of started off middle of the pack, but I think King Jeffrey looking good with the 85 stars. We'll see how Pigeonism continues to do. But this was going to be a hard war to predict. I think I said that in my projections video, and it looks like uh, King Jeffrey was able to separate themselves this week. Uh, so good job to them. In other news, Hindu Stand quietly goes to 3-0. and Not a whole lot of talk about them, at least on my channel, but they are doing some great stuff. They started out with 84 stars. Week 2 went to 85, now they were at 86 this week. They keep going up, and they get the win over Valor Doheris. They only got 79, but to be fair to them, they've had some uh, some solid performances, but haven't been able to get their first victory yet in CWL Premier. And finally, we have the CZX Knights 85 to Finland War 80. Pretty uh, solid victory there with the 5-star margin. Both clans, similar to what I've talked about previously, uh, kind of stayed in the middle. Both were 1-1, one one, but the X-Knights showing their strength here to go to 2-1, and one, and Finland Ward down to 1-2 and two in a pretty tough division with Rogue XI and Hindustan in that same division. So we'll see how those clans continue to perform. We'll keep an eye on both those divisions. So let's move on and take a look at the second half of the results here. So to start it off, we have the Tugboat with a four-star victory over Spartans, 84-80 there. We have Forge from Steel getting the victory over Three Point Park, 83-81. Marshall's Nation takes down Genesis, 84-81. And Chosen Elite versus Terps win big. Victory goes to Chosen Elite, 83-81. So going in the order that they were on the screen right there, uh, starting off with the tugboat over We Are Spartans. We Are Spartans were 2-0 undefeated going into this week, but they had a pretty so-so performance, only 80 stars, tugboat getting a decisive 84-80 victory, and really uh, tugboat hasn't played that many uh, or they've played good clans, but there hasn't been a whole lot of good performances against them. Maybe they have good bases. I don't I don't know that much detail, but for whatever reason other clans aren't scoring too hot against them. They go to two and one, uh, which will put them right behind Marshall's Nation at second place in the minor division. Or sorry, the healer division. They're in the healer division. That's why they're yellow. Uh, we are Spartans. We'll go to two and one, slipping in behind Forge from Steel in their division. So both clans two and one, both in good position. In that next war, we had Forged from Steel getting the victory over Three Point Park 83-81. Forged from Steel now 3-0, Three Point Park 0-3. 
but that doesn't quite do them justice. They've had some tough matchups, including a loss, I believe, 87-85 to Dark Leaders X. So that's definitely a tough war when you score 85 stars. Um, typically that's enough, but not against a top clan like Dark Looters X. So it's going to be tough uh, being 0-3 for 3-point park, but they should be able to uh, to bounce back if they keep putting up solid numbers. 81, not the best, but they've uh, previous weeks they've done a little bit better. Forged from Steel, on the other hand, is in great position at 3-0, doing pretty solid each week. In the Marshalls Nation versus One Hive Genesis War, the victory goes to Marshalls Nation 83-81. They will go to 3-0, not putting up gr like great numbers specifically any week, but putting up solid numbers enough to get the victory each week. One of them was off a tie, uh, but this week they get the two-star margin for the victory to make them go 3-0 in great position in the healer division, whereas One Hive Genesis uh, goes to 1-2. I was in that war, uh, tough loss for us, but it was the Town Hall 10s. Uh, not being able to three-star their Town Hall 10s that hurt the most. The 10v10 triples are something I guess Genesis struggles with. I can provide a little bit more insight because I actually am in the clan there. But uh, we're looking to bounce back after the uh, the loss and hopefully get back to a 2-2 two and two record. Whereas Marshall's Nation 3-0 and oh, looking to keep that undefeated record going. And finally, Chosen Elite versus Terps win big. Both 0-2 going into this week. But Chosen Elite gets the victory to uh, to get that first victory, one and two. Chosen Elite it has been a little bit better each week, I believe, than uh, than Terps win big. Just been putting up a little bit more stars. So this week, I guess it was kind of expected that they'd be able to get just a few more stars than Terps win big to uh, to eke out that victory. And for these last four matchups here, I actually don't have a replay, so I'll go through a little bit quicker and talk about each matchup uh, all at once, I guess. Invictus Prime over Dark Avengers. I said this was going to be a very close, fun war to watch. And Dark Avengers will fall to 1-2, and two, but they've had such tough matchups these first few weeks. That's not really a fair record, but uh, it is what it is. They'll look to bounce back and go 2-2 two and two next week. Invictus Prime, 3-0. and oh. Uh, they'll have to continue that record and go 4-0 next week. Now here is an interesting war. Art of War getting the victory over FYSB 85-84. Art of War was 0-2. FYSB was 2-0. Uh, FYSB also got 84 stars every week. And it was enough the first two weeks, but this week it wasn't enough. Even though the clan they were going against was 0-2. Art of War with a slow start any other week, like weeks 1 or 2, the 84 would have been enough. But for some reason, I guess they're starting to get it together. Art of War gets 85 stars to top the 84 that FYSB has consistently gotten each week. And that will get them the victory to go to 1-2, and two, bringing FYSB down to 2-1. and one. Dark Looters X continuing their domination, and I'm not sure what happened to Sons of Anarchy. I don't want to comment too much in case there was some bans or something. I honestly have no idea. It may have just been a bad war for them, but they only got 73 stars. Maybe you guys know more than I do. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really investigate that that much, but uh, for whatever reason, Dark Looters X has the blowout this week, and they go to 3-0, Sons of Anarchy down to 0-3. And finally, for the last war of this week, DS gets the victory over uh, Forda's 82-81, and neither clan scoring that well the first two weeks, but um, despite that, DS, I guess, got a pretty good record and was able to get another victory in addition to this week, so they're 2-1, and Forda's falls to 0-3. So there it is. Those were the 16 matchups from week three and how it went. Here are the standings after everything was said and done from this week. Invictus Prime, still 3-0, so is Forged from Steel, Hindustan, and Quantum 3, one from each of the divisions within the Gold Conference. Also, you can see some of the 2-1 and one clans and some of the 0-3 clans. Actually, it's just, um, well, there's three clans, Sons of Anarchy, LTU, and Crystal Warrior all still looking for their first victory in CWL Premier. But overall, the Gold Conference probably a little bit stronger than the Elixir Conference right here. Uh, Dark Looters X 3-0, as is Marshall's Nation, but there's no other 3-0 clans, none from the Minor or the Wallbreaker Division. And uh, I think same number, or no, 4 0 and, or 5 and 3 clans, no, maybe 4. Hard to, uh, to see those small numbers from where I am. But those are the standings. Those are all the statistics in case you guys like pausing and checking out all the uh, little percentages and stuff. If you're a statistics kind of person, 
because I know some of you guys might be. But anyway, that is it for week three. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be looking at for week four here. Keep your eye on Dark Looters X versus Marshall's Nation. Two 3 0 clans going at it head to head. And also Hindustan versus Quantum 3. So there's two different wars of two 3 0 clans going at it. Should be um, some awesome results and some awesome attacks produced from these wars. But I will talk about all my projections in a few days once we get there. For now, this has been the week three recap of CWL Premiere. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next CWL premiere video. Oh, and also, bisect the trunk out.